Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So yesterday IIT Roorkee released the data of GATE 2025 examination. So based on that data, we will uh, try to comment that how much marks would be enough for EC and electrical students in 2026 examination. Okay. And I have seen the data of 24 as well, 23 as well, 22 as well, 21 as well. Based on that data, I will tell you a realistic analysis that uh, how much marks should be enough for your GATE examination. Okay. So, just uh, I have put the screenshot of only 25 data, but I will take the reference of uh, 24 data as well, 23 data as well. So, coming to you can see that uh, number of registered students you can see 97,000, roughly around 97,000 and 83,000 in electrical. Appeared student 81,000 and uh, 67,000 and these are the qualified students. So, you can see that 81,000 is there last year. So, this year it may be increasing a bit. I am not sure about electrical, but in EC, it may be increasing a bit. It can go up to 90,000 or 1 lakh as well. Appeared student, I am not sure about the registered one, but if appeared student can go roughly around 90,000. Not sure about electrical, it may increase or it may not increase. In the electrical, it is not increasing that much, but in EC, every year number of aspirants are increasing. In 23, it was 45,000 only. In 24, it became roughly around 60,000. Then in 25, it became 80,000. So, I expect that it might be increasing a bit. Okay, and you can see the maximum and minimum score. So, maximum marks was 82 in uh, EC and 82 also, roughly around 82 only in electrical as well. But yeah, this is our matter of concern here. Let's see the range. Out of these appeared student, uh, from 80 to 90 marks, above 80 marks only 4 students, 1 student. Above 70 marks, 49 plus 4, 53 students and here 39 students. Between 60 to 70, 172 student, 171 student, 50 to 60, this much student. So, where is the cluster? A lot of students are lying in this range, 40 to 50 marks. A lot of students are lying. Like these guys, 40 to 50 marks, these guys who are scoring 40 to 50 marks, they could have easily scored 50 to 60 marks. If you are lying here and if you are lying here, there is a huge, huge difference. If you are lying in this range, then there is... A very less chance of getting a good MTech. But if you are lying in this range, there is a very, very high chance of getting a good, good MTech. So, what was the difference between these two students? Confidence, that's it. These students were more confident and these students were less confident. That's it. And you can see that last year's question paper was moderate. You, you will not call it difficult. Okay. You will neither call it easy. It was moderate, moderate level of question paper and getting 50 marks was not very tough. Like even if you have studied the subject on a surface level, if you just know all the subjects and only on the surface level, if you know them, 50 marks were very easy to score. And those who have studied decent enough, they were able to get 50 marks. Are you able to understand this point? So this year as well, people, the paper will not be very easy. Paper is not going to be very easy. And if you are a serious aspirant, if you are someone who has studied in a good manner, in a, from a good resource, then you would, you should expect that and you should wish that Question paper should be on the moderate to difficult side only. You should not be expecting an easy question paper because in an easy question paper, the cutoff will go higher. The number of the students scoring higher marks will also go higher and, and at the higher marks, you will get lesser rank. But a good student who has studied in a good manner, he will always expect or he will always wish the question paper to be difficult only. Okay. So, I have seen the trend of last four to five years. The question paper is coming moderate to difficult only for both EC and electrical. For electrical in 2022, the question paper was very easy. But from 23, 24, 25, you would see that question paper is from moderate to tough only, mostly on the moderate side. In uh, GATE in 2023, 2023 EC, 2023 EC, this question paper was on the easier side. In 2023 EC, this question paper was on the easier side. And uh, here, even if it was easy, 50 marks were still enough. 2024 was very tough. Not very tough. It was on the difficult side, I would say. 2024 EC was on the difficult side. Here, 45 marks were enough. In 45 marks, you were getting a rank around, roughly around 500. Here, in roughly, in 50 marks, you are getting a rank around 800, right? Roughly around 800 rank you will get in 50 marks. And if you are getting 800 rank, your job is done. So, the conclusion is, no matter what would be the level of question paper, in EC question paper, if you are getting above 50, from 50 to 55, if you are getting your job is done. From this particular attempt, you are going to get something pretty good. If you give your interview well, you will get a good interview goal 
and if you give your interview well then you will be getting something pretty good if you are scoring between 50 to 55 so your target would be getting marks around 50 to 55 in any kind of question paper the question paper is not going to be very easy that's for sure it would be between easy to moderate or moderate to difficult so surely like it will be lying somewhere moderate only so in ec or in electrical in both of the question paper if you are getting 50 to 50 marks five marks your job should be done job should be done, done means you will be getting some good masters this is the conclusion that's it from the whole pdf of 50 to 55 pages you can just make a conclusion that in the next question paper i would require roughly around 50 to 55 marks if you are scoring more than that it's up to you how much do you score okay and if you want to get under 100 if you want to get under 100 then any day above 65 marks your job will be done if you are getting above 65 marks you will be under 100 65 to 70 i would say if you are getting 65 to 70 then you will be under 100 in 65 marks it might happen that you are getting a rough rank around 120 or 130 but 70 marks will make sure that you are under 100 in any kind of case. Even if the question paper is coming easy to moderate, still 70 marks would be enough to get under 100 if you want double digit rank. And if you want that from this particular attempt, sir, I should get something pretty good. I should not be wasting this attempt. In From gate 26 examination only, I want to get into masters, then target above 50 marks. That's it. And getting above 50 marks is still possible. Even if you start now and for the next five months, you give your level best, you study for 7 to 8 hours regularly, consistently, then there is no one who can stop you getting 50 marks. Very easily you can get 50 marks. Very, very easily. Okay, so just start your preparation, take it as a motivation and start your preparation. And uh, regarding our courses, we are having two kind of uh, courses. Pathfinder Spatch is there and Titan Spatch is there. You can en enroll for 26 examination or if you are thinking to prepare for 27 examination, then you can enroll for 27 examination as well. Like, uh, and uh, there are a lot of content available on YouTube as well. So on our YouTube channel only, there is a lot of free content available. So you can check out that particular content and then you can decide whether you want to pursue for this course or not. And you can see that till 5th of September, from starting from today onwards, till 5th of sep September, we are giving huge offer on our paid courses because of that Teacher's Day week celebration. So you can apply the code PREP, P-R-E-P. -E so if you apply the code PREP, you will get 25% off on the full courses. On the subject-wise courses as well, you will get 25% off. So you can apply the code P-R-E-P. -E so this will be applicable till 5th of September and you can, you can check out the content on YouTube, the kind of quality you will get here that will be next to none. Along with that in these courses, doubt following is also there, live guidance session is also there, notes are also there, printable notes are also there, test series is also there. So everything that a student requires, every single thing is included in these courses. Okay. So you can go to our courses, you can check out the curriculum, you can check out the features of the course and then you can decide whether you want to pursue for this course or not. And a lot of content is already available on YouTube as well. Okay then, yeah. So just take this video as a motivation that uh, you want to score roughly around 50 to 55 marks. Even if you haven't started your preparation, then still you can start. And uh, if you have already started, then just uh, have the confidence that, sir, this much marks I can easily score. If you feel like that, sir, I'm not doing well in my preparation. If, I, if you feel like that, sir, I'm not able to solve the problems, then... Just think about it. Even if you are able to score 50% of the problems, then your job would be done. Most of the part will be aptitude as well. So in aptitude, if you solve 80 to 90% and in the technical part, if you score more than 50%, your job will be done. So just take it as a motivation and keep on preparing. Thank you very much. Happy learning. If you are, if you are having any other query, you can write down in the comment section. Thank you.